What is going on everybody? My name is Radhi and you're watching my channel Radhi the Brand. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to create a full screen background video with autoplay, no sound, that is also responsive and I will show you a workaround for older generation iPads and browsers in general that require user interaction in order to play the video. You might have already noticed that browser vendors such as Microsoft, Google, Apple and Mozilla are already moving towards stricter policies in order to improve user experience such as reducing data consumption, uh, minimize the incentive of installing ad blockers and constrain networks and so on. Which might seem like a pain for us, but when you think about it, it's actually quite beneficial to the user. If this is something that you'd like to see, stick around, tap the like button, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, please comment below. And now, let's just jump on the computer and get started. Hello and welcome everybody. Let's get started with this video. First of all, I have already created my project folder. I am using Visual Studio Code. So if I go to Explorer, these are the files that we'll be using today. So on the left side, we have index.html. We have a JS folder, which contains a file called script.js. And we have a CSS folder, which contains a file called main.css. Technically speaking, I could bundle everything in index.html just because this is a tiny project, but I like to stay organized and that's why I've split up everything. Last but not least, we need a video for this video and I've already downloaded one in my project folder called Purple Grid. And this comes from a website called videvo.net and I will link it in the description below. Now, before we begin, I wanted to mention that for this video, I will be using the extension called Live Server, which means that every time I make changes, the browser will refresh automatically, but also I will be able to use my iPad mini and my Android phone so we can test the video. Now, the reason I'm using the iPad mini, uh, which is a second gen, I believe, uh, is one of the really old ones that you cannot longer update. And I've got an Android as well. And the reason for that is because uh, different vendors do uh, things differently, the way you handle um, video pl playback, but uh, in general, most of the vendors no longer allow, allow autoplay with uh, voice on, so the video has to be muted. And some browsers, such as the iPad mini, which I believe has a very old browser, now uh, needs a user interaction, so we're gonna have to sort that out as well. All right, let's begin by writing our HTML, and uh, this should be quick and easy thing to do with using the Emit abbreviation tool. So if you start typing HTML, so if you start typing HTML, HTML5 will pop up, press HTML5 and let's give all document a name. So HTML5 um, full screen video, uh, something like this will do. Let's link, up, let's, let's link our style sheet now. So link, CSS and all style sheet is under CSS slash main.css. I think the phone was going off. All right. And now let's um, add our JavaScript as well. So we can do script source and then do JS is the folder and then script.js. Make sure you close this and we should be good to go. To test the live uh, server, uh, we can simply do h1, hello world. And if you want to start your live server, you can go to the Explorer and right click on index.html and open it with live server. So I've already opened mine in here. So if I refresh and if I refresh the tablet and if I refresh the phone, Technically speaking, now every time I make a change, so let's do one, two, three and save it. 
you will see that we're getting the update straight away on my phone and my tablet and my computer, which is great. Now let's remove this and start adding the video. To add a video element, it's actually fairly simple in, with HTML5. We can just do a video and just make sure you close it. Inside the video is where the sources will go. And, and I'm just going to copy um, a message that you've probably seen quite a lot. So uh, you can add a few different types of uh, sources. So like MP4 is what we'll be using today, but you can add more. And if the browser does not support that source, you can paste a message called your browser does not support uh, this uh, the video tag. And now let's add our source, which is, uh, and to do this, we can do source and then SRC, which stands for source again. And then inside here, I can just pull the video that I've already downloaded with this uh, name dot MP4 and just close. All right. If we save this, go back to the browser, you should see that we are getting the video and also we're getting the video on my Android device, which is at the moment using uh, Brave, which is a Chromium browser. I'm using Brave in here as well, but I've also tested this in Edge, Firefox, Safari 14. Is this Safari 14, I believe? Yeah, Safari 14.0. So I'll make sure that it all works on those browsers. Now, at the moment, we're not seeing the video on the tablet, and I believe that we could potentially fix this by adding autoplay on this and equals autoplay. And this is the best method that I've seen that works uh, quite well. So if we save this, as you can see, the video is now appearing on my iPad and my phone, but we're getting this uh, scroll, weird scroll, which we'll have to fix in a little bit. But before we do that, let's make sure that the video is actually autoplaying uh, on as many devices as we can make it. So to do the, so we've already done the autoplay, but the reason that uh, the video is not autoplaying on our browser, it's because Um, and the reason that you didn't see the autoplay, it's because the video is actually only a few seconds long. So it was just going to stop at some point. And if I refresh, as you can see, the video is actually playing. But if you look at the tablet, the video is not playing on the tablet and the video is not playing on my phone. The video needs to be muted in order to work on my phone. First of all, so what we can do is set muted just like this. And if you refresh, you should see that the video is actually playing now on my phone, which is pretty cool, but the video is so, but it's not yet playing on the tablet and we're going to have to sort that out in a minute. So the next thing that we want to do is make sure that the video is looping, loop, and that's easy to sort out. So press save. And if you go back, you should see that the video is going to keep looping, which is pretty cool. Now, let's make sure that our video is nicely centered in the middle of our screen, no matter whether we are using tablet, phone or desktop. To do this, we can actually give our video a class name or an ID, whatever you wish. Let's give it a class name for the styles and let's give it an ID later on uh, so we can do stuff with JavaScript. But either way, it doesn't really matter. So let's give it a class name of full screen. A video maybe and I will copy this open my save of course open my CSS file which is main.css and start and let's make this full width now this is kind of like a old school trick that you can do to make it full width and what I will be doing is making the video position fixed uh, on the whole screen with the Z index and then we need to do some trickery to uh, make sure that it's always in the middle and is full width. So let me show you. So first of all, let's start with the position fixed. Then we can do uh, overflow hidden because we don't want the scroll bars. Then we need to push the video 50% from the top 
and the left, which I'll show you in a second. So top, uh, 50%, left, 50%. And if I was to save this, you will see that the video is kind of like uh, the kind of like the anchor point, the angle, of the, the corner of the video is literally right in the middle of the screen, which is exactly what we want. And then we're going to do some trickery with uh, transform and translate in CSS to move it to the left and top. So let's continue now. We also need to send min width uh, to 100%, min height to 100% and we also need to make sure that the width is auto, the height is auto and now let's do the transform so we can move the video back into position. So we can do transform and then we can do translate um, x and translate y which is one is diagonal one is horizontal. So let's do translate uh, x minus uh, 50% and then let's do translate y minus 50%, save this and let's see what happens. So as you can see, this is already full screen, uh, which is awesome. And the last thing that I want to do is make sure that uh, we set a Z index to our video just in case it gets in a way and with other elements. So we can do Z index minus uh, 100 whatever like let's just do minus 10 because we don't have so many elements in here so let's save this let's have a look again and as you can see it's perfectly centered on my tablet and it's perfectly centered on my phone which is brilliant so the next step is to actually have a look at how we can uh, how we can make the video play on the ipad as you can see the other browser is absolutely fine and to make it actually work on the iPad is not ideal, but it's not the end of the world either. We basically, we can basically trigger the video to start playing on user interaction. Um, unfortunately, that's the only way. So let's get going. So to do this, first of all, let's go back to our index.html and we can close the CSS for now as we probably won't need it anymore. Maybe later on, I can show you another trick if you stay till the end of the video. Um, but let's now give our video an ID just so we can select it with JavaScript. Of course, we can select it with the class name, but let's just give it an ID of my video. And let's now save this, go to JS, open the script file, and let's close the Explorer so we can focus. Now, the first thing that I want to do is make sure that um, our DOM has loaded and then we can do the rest of the stuff. It's actually fairly easy to do this with um, JavaScript and there is quite a few ways of doing it, I believe, but let me show you a very easy way uh, with an event listener. So what we can do is document dot add event listener and this event listener will be called DOM DOM content loaded. Just like this, and this will be a function, just like so. And inside, whoop, and inside the curly bracket is where we'll be adding our code. So now I want the video to play on user interaction. So when somebody uh, touches the iPad, the video will start playing automatically. And what I can do is actually bind a touch start event listener on our document body. Let me show you how to do this. So document.body, and then we can add add event listener again. And this time, this time this event listener will be touch start, this one here, and, and then we can trigger a function. So the function, let's just, so the function can be called anything. So let's just keep it, keep it uh, simple, play video, just like this. And we now need to create this function. So let's create this function, uh, function play video. And inside here is where we first of all need to select the video element. So let's go back to index.html and I'm gonna be using this ID that we just created a few seconds ago. And let's do document 
actually let's do const video equals document dot get element by id and the id is the one that i just copied my video let's close this and now we need to check whether this video is playing so to do this it's actually fairly simple we can just do a simple if statement and we can do if video dot playing then do nothing but else if the video is not playing then make sure that we play the video and to do this we can do video dot play just like this Boom and save let's tidy this up a little bit because it's all over and just like this and if i save again you will see that all the screens have reloaded uh the video is showing on the tablet and now if i interact with the tablet by touching it you will see that the video starts playing so it's not the end of the world it's not ideal but it does the job there is no other way and the last thing that I want to show you just before we go, it has nothing to do with the video, but uh, it's a little bit of uh, manipulating the colors, I guess. Um, what we can do is, for example, if you wanted to uh, manipulate the video darkness or lightness, depending on uh, the color of your video, uh, we can put another layer on top and then just manipulate the opacity so we can make it darker, lighter, so uh, other elements stick out. What I mean by this is, is for example, if I was to, let me copy my logo super quickly. So if I was to add my logo and let me actually make my logo a little bit bigger than it is. So let's go to the styles and let's do, let's just do images and then width of 600 pixels might be okay. Um, and save this. And let's actually center align this. So fairly large on my phone. So maybe a little bit less than that, but you know. All right, that looks a little bit better. Um, 400. All right, that looks a little bit better now. So let me center this super quickly. So I'm just gonna do on the body, let's do display uh, flex and then align content center uh, justify content center and that should center it but because the uh, we only have an image technically inside the body that's why the item is sorry that's why the image is at the top so we're just gonna have to give this a height of 100 vh which takes the 100 uh which takes the full height of the screen so as you can see the logo is now in the middle which is pretty cool and let me now show you the overlay super quickly so what we can do in the html we can add another div with a class name of background overlay maybe and then close the div and now i can use this this div to dim the actual video so to do this let's add another style in here and we can do again uh, position fixed top zero excuse me top zero right zero uh, left zero and bottom zero then we can give it the background color obviously my video is quite dark so we can just go with background color of black just like this and then we can do opacity of 0 0.6 or whatever save this and as you can see this is working but it's actually over my logo so what i want to do is change the z index again so z index and maybe we can just do it as minus nine so it's above the video uh, but not above uh, any other elements so let's take this and have a look. As you can see now, my logo is sticking out a little bit. The video is looking pretty cool. All right, and that's pretty much everything. If I was to touch the screen again, as you can see, the video is now playing again on the tablet. And that's, hopefully this might not be the case on the new tablets. I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, make sure that you smash the like button. Comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I am posting weekly videos just like this and 
As always, my name is Rally, and you're watching my channel, Rally the Brand, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.